People who have watched my videos usually have one question in mind. They ask me, Hey Arvind, you say that we should not consume anything that comes from animals because it involves animal cruelty. But why do vegans choose not to consume honey? Where's the cruelty in that? Well, before we dive head first into learning how honey is actually manufactured, let us first learn a bit about honeybees themselves. Now, in a bee colony, there are actually three different kinds of bees. There is one, a queen bee. Two, there are a few male bees called drones. And three, there are many female worker bees. The sole job of a queen bee is to lay eggs. And every hive must compulsorily have one queen bee. Now, in case this queen bee dies, a new queen bee is formed. How you may ask? Now, when a larva is hatched in a beehive, all those larvae are fed a substance called royal jelly, which is secreted from the head of a female worker bee. What happens is there's one particular larva that they choose at random to become the next queen bee. And this particular larva is continuously fed royal jelly over and over. And this larva is the one that turns into the queen bee. Once the queen bee has reached a certain age, she will mate with all available drones in the hive. And after that, her only job is to lay eggs. Worker bees take care of all tasks in the hive apart from breeding. Depending on their age, they will actually divide these tasks among themselves. Some of them take care of the larva, some of them take care of the queen bee, some of them go out to collect pollen and nectar from flowers, some of them help protect the hive, and some of them help in building the hive even bigger, and so much more. In a hive, male bees are always few in number. Their only job in life is to mate with the queen bee and once that is done, they will die. We have all seen that the hives of honeybees are constructed as cells. It is within these cells that they place their honey, pollen and the newborn larva. Now, many of us wrongly assume that the liquid that bees extract from flowers is actually honey, but no, that's a liquid called nectar. Once enough nectar is collected, these bees will go to the hive and exchange nectar from the mouth of one bee to another, to another, to another. Now, this is done because this exchange happening helps reduce the amount of water content in the nectar. And finally, at one point, the nectar is swallowed and it is mixed with the acid and enzymes in the stomach of the bees and spat out. So yes, my friends, you may find honey very delicious, but do realize that it is nothing but the regurgitated vomit of a bee after having sucked up nectar from a flower. So why do bees collect and store honey? You see, during the harsh winter or during stormy or rainy season, or during seasons where which flowers no longer bloom, this honey acts as a reservoir of food for them. And not to mention, during cold seasons, this honey also acts as an insulation device for them. And now let's talk about apiaries, which basically means bee farms. You see, in an apiary, these bees are kept inside small boxes or containers. And this is where they begin to build their hives, which is made of wax. Now, when these bee farmers decide to open the box and inspect the bees, understand that it is not done with the utmost amount of care. So therefore, many bees are injured and many are even crushed and killed during this sort of handling. And when finally the bee farmer does decide to extract honey from the boxes, they begin to spray smoke on them. Now, do understand that this sort of smoking causes a lot of stress and disorientation amongst the bees. And when this is happening, you must realize that the bees begin to very quickly drink up all their honey that they have collected and try to fly away. You might ask, why are they so focused on drinking all that honey before flying away? It's because they need to use that honey to build a new hive. Because according to them, when they can feel the smoke, they think that a forest fire is going on and they need to get all the resources and flee immediately. It is at this moment that the selfish humans capitalize and steal all the honey that these bees have collected so far. Now, once this honey has been stolen from the artificial beehive by the bee farmer in order to be put into jars and sold on supermarkets to you, the bees realize soon that the hive is once again empty. The cells are once again devoid of honey and their instinct is to immediately replenish it once again. So once again, these bees have to head out and forage for all the nectar they possibly can to refill the hive. And thus, man takes advantage of all the hard work and all the labor that these tiny creatures put in just so he could make a buck and eat something sweet. Well, now you might ask me, hey Aravind, if these bees have the ability to suck up the honey and go elsewhere and form a new hive, why don't they do so? Well, you see, they could do so, but they also will not leave behind their queen bee. So now comes the question, can the queen bee just fly along with the rest of the hive and go start a colony elsewhere? Well, the cruel, crafty and cunning humans have employed such a method that she cannot. Once a queen bee is bought, she is put into the artificial hive and she has her wings clipped off, therefore preventing her from flying away ever again. So as long as the queen bee remains in the hive, these other bees will remain slaves for human beings forever. 
Now, after hearing all of this, some people would like to crack wise and ask me, Hey Arvind, then if in case you're walking tomorrow in the forest and a bee comes to sting you, would you hit it or not? Would you show your vegan ethics over there? Well, people must understand that when an animal tries to sting, bite, scratch, claw, maim or kill you, you have all the right to defend yourself. Justifying the exploitation of innocent sentient creatures by comparing it to a scenario where you have to defend yourself is not correct. It is a complete fallacy. You cannot justify exploiting honeybees for honey because you would defend yourself in a hypothetical scenario if they were to sting you. Please stop the lies, do the right thing, stop consuming honey and go vegan today. Thank you.